pop your opponent for a one-play touchdown with this two-play mini scheme that's going to drive them nuts. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also the notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So this is a play. Uh, this is a, a formation that I really do like to run online uh, when playing against opponents, whether it's draft champions, uh, mud, or regs. Uh, in particular, because I like one of the plays that's in it. And this is the, uh, the single back wide trips. Now, uh, this particular play I'm going to show you, it's going to be a, a two play mini scheme, um, is uh, building off of one of my favorite runs in the game. And that run is going to be the halfback draw, uh, the, the pump halfback draw. So uh, this particular play is really good. I, I'll show you the effectiveness of this run uh, against multiple different types of defensive shells, but it does get you some pretty good yards. And the pump animation kind of messes up your opponent's reads. Now we're going to build off um, uh, from this run play a one play touchdown opportunity. So uh, just to show you, this particular play is in the Panthers playbook. It's also in the Cowboys and the Raiders. And it's also in the most popular playbook getting used right now, which is the Patriots. So if you are a Patriots playbook user, or if you got, or you're using a custom book, you want to throw this in your scheme as soon as possible because this will set your opponent up for some huge plays down the field where you can either change field position or you can get yourself a one-play touchdown opportunity. So once again, I'm going to be taking a look at the single back wide trips and where are the wide receivers on uh, the, the, the split end uh, wide receiver. You generally want to have your fastest, uh, best receiver, either a big body receiver that's that's fairly fast or your fastest receiver on the far uh, the far left side of the screen uh, with the best route running because that it's going to be the route that's going to give you that one play touchdown opportunity. Now, uh, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and set up uh, one of my audibles is the play action draw shot because this is going to give me opportunity to go ahead and jump into this play uh, and attack my opponent for some big yards down the field because all three of these routes are all stretching the field long. And uh, the play that I'm going to come out of the huddle is going to be this halfback pump draw. Just for the sake of this breakdown, I want to show you man blitzes. Now this particular run play, which is the halfback pump draw, is not effective against man blitzes. So I'll show that to you, that you're not really going to get a lot of yardage. I probably could have cut that out a little bit better with animation, but it's really more for people that run a lot of zone coverages. So if you have a guy that does a lot of heavy man blitzes, you don't want to use this run. But I'll show it to you uh, uh, on the next couple shells that we look at. Why this is great is that if you got a guy that uses a lot of man blitzes, you got a one play touchdown opportunity. Uh, once you switch into this play action uh, draw shot, it, there are basically three different routes that you can hit uh, to attack your opponent. The money route is going to be the one that's going to be that's going to be highlighted red. And if we hold our blocks, basically we're going to watch and see how this guy gets separation against the coverage. So even though the safety actually came over, I want to show you on how this is pretty consistent against any kind of man blitzes. Most people do zero. So when that happens, it's going to give you an opportunity to go get really good separation off the back end side. So I see in a single high safety, typically that's not going to be what you're going to see a lot. And this little crossing route right here is going to be wide open too. This is probably going to be more of the shell that you're going to be looking at. And this is the opportunity that you get. So people that do a lot of man blitzing, um, they usually go zero. They try to user a guy over. They do mid blitz. And because you're blocking seven, you're going to get these type of opportunities. Also off to the right, uh, the wheel route is an opportunity too. Let's see if we hold our blocks. We do rack that puppy and here's another opportunity for one play touchdown now i'm going to run this against random cover twos but i want to show you how this draw play this halfback pump draw play is really really effective um, against anybody that uses any kind of covered shells so cover two cover three cover four uh, this this run play is very very effective and if the guy's falling back in the coverage he's not going to go unless he's actually trying to shoot the gap uh, with this you're going to play and because you get the animation 
uh, of the uh, of the pump uh, the pump animation, it's gonna it's gonna assume that uh, your your opponent for the most part is gonna be assuming that you're actually actually passing the ball instead of throwing it, and it doesn't mess up the fallbacks like all the guys that actually fall back in route. So this is all just random cover twos. Look at the yards I'm picking up. You, if you're shredding your opponent for four plus yards, five plus yards every time you run the ball, he's going to have to start making adjustments on the offensive or on the uh, the defensive line with his defensive uh, to basically stop this. So that's why this is a really good play. Now I'll, I'll tell you that this the, the next play which we're building off of, which is that that, that uh, play action pump drop. Uh, play is not the best play against cover two. It's not necessarily the best thing. And I'll show it to you as far as how that works. Uh, you do have this deep post that you can squeeze the ball into, but a lot of people will have uh, a deep um, yellow or a deep blue zone in that area, and that's not necessarily the best. Uh, unless you've got hard flats, uh, that little wheel route is not going to be wide open, but you can see, you know, they're probably going to be a deep blue zone right there. You really only have one read. So if you want to go ahead and beef this up a little bit, what you could do is you could go ahead and try to complement uh, by actually taking uh, your uh, tight end and actually putting him in a whip route. So a little whip route will actually go to complement. It should probably allow you to get a seam uh, to be able to attack your opponent with a little whip route because it pulls the defenders down. So let's go into instant replay, show you just basically the mechanics of this and why I'm looking in certain directions. Um, on the cover two route, I could almost squeeze this route in, but you can see this defender carries. I've got another defender that takes this area. If I try to throw this ball, uh, he's going to get sandwiched to be defenders. I could probably do an inside pass lead, but it's really a high risk uh, uh, play against this coverage because I've got so much action off the right hand side. So this guy right here, because we've got hard flats, is wide open. And in the seam, he's actually wide open. And because I brought down uh, this wide receiver, this brought the defender down, leaving that sideline pass wide open against cover two. But I really like this more against cover, uh, basically this play more against uh, cover three. This is where I'm salivating and it gives me an opportunity to get a touchdown. Now I'm going to go against random cover threes. And right here in this type of situation, if I'm reading single high safety, I'm typically going to go ahead and jump into this play action draw shot because I know that Gabriel is actually going to get open for me. But for the sake of just showing how the run play works, I'm just going to go and jump into the run play. And as you can see, once again, I'm picking up an easy five yards. And if you're chipping away uh, against your opponent with the run and picking up easy yardage, just stay with it. Um, it's just it's it's just a good way to go and, and attack your opponent. So even though I didn't get any yardage right there, I, I assure you, and you can see my gameplay uh, footage and how I pick up pretty easy yards with this particular uh, uh, play, this run play. It's just a really good run play because uh, that animation makes people fall back. My offensive line can attack. And I'm taking a look at this. I'm picking up 10 yards, 15 yards a shot. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a single high safety. This is going to be basically the look and when I see a single high safety I know the guys in cover three people don't disguise a single single high safety in a cover two shell and stuff like that it's very very rare to find that so all we're gonna really do is we're just gonna wait for the animation and once the, once the wide receiver uh, moves up that's where I'm gonna get my opportunity for my big play so look at the field position that we have so I'm gonna watch this this wide receiver right here once he cuts in and then cuts up this defender just sticks on his feet. He doesn't do anything. He just does not react. And that's going to give me a step in the coverage to be able to go throw the ball right over the top. So we just like to lob the ball as soon as he actually makes his break and he gets a step on the wide receiver. We try to pass lead off to the sideline um, uh, to basically try to keep it away from the center fielder. And as you can see right here, I'm able to go and get a nice completion. And look at the yardage differential. I literally got 50 yards on that. And if I actually didn't, uh, if I had maybe just a step on these guys a little bit, uh, just a better throw, uh, this, this would be one play touchdown. Now what about off the right side? Uh, well, with, the, with the, the right side, you've got the post that will be wide open that you can attack. And if you whip up uh, your your tight end to put him in the flat, all you do is you just got a high low read, and you can go ahead and check it down uh, for an easy read for an easy flat completion. Completion. So I want to run this against cover four drop. Uh, this is the most uh, popular cover four coverage, but I want to show you uh, how effective this run is against cover four. So unless he's actually going ahead and making adjustments with his cover four and trying to shoot the gap with his cover four. 
you're going to get a really good push once again pick up some pretty easy yards on the ground so uh, he's going to have if he's we've already covered four if this run play is going to give yourself some pretty good opportunities against him see I'm, I'm right there i'm actually picking up some pretty easy yards five yards every single time against this cover four and all i really have to do is just watch how the center blocks and pick up some pretty easy yards for that what about the play action draw shot play? Well, this play actually gets a little bit more locked down with cover four. Uh, the wheel route by Miller actually gets locked down, um, and uh, Robinson route will carry unless they complement it. And Gabriel's route is actually you can pass it, but you got to pass lead in and you got to have really good timing. So cover four using this particular this particular play is not necessarily the best play. I would probably jump out of it against cover four. So I can pass lead this route and try to squeeze it in. But you're running, you're throwing the ball that's really into multiple uh, defenders. The ball pops out of the hands. It could fly up in the air, and your defenders could pick it off. So it, you're more liable for a turnover. So what I've discovered in the lab is that you have an opportunity to pop your opponent for some big yards by actually going ahead and whipping up the, the, the tight end. And what's going to happen is actually it's going to uh, take, it's going to allow that Robinson's route to be wide open. Now watch what happens if you run this bigger play against cover four shells and you actually try to go and throw it. Look how he gets blanketed right here. So there's going to be someone in the area to go ahead and, and knock that ball out of the way or play it. But if you actually go ahead and complement the, the play action draw with a whip route, now that defender that actually is going to carry with Robinson is not going to do that now because he has to be conscious of the whip route. So let's see how, see how this is wide open. So that's just another way you can make an adjustment against a guy that runs a lot of cover four. So you can pop him a couple times with a run, but if he's staying in cover four and you want to go ahead and hit him down in the middle of the field, just simply whip up your tight end. You're going to have all the time in the world because this is not an aggressive uh, defense, and you're going to be able to pop him for a good 25 gain, uh, yard gainer. So guys, this is a play that I've used uh, a lot. Uh, the play action draw uh, shot is a play that I've actually threw into this scheme. And there's a lot of other ways you can run this bigger, uh, run these plays to go ahead and be very effective. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support. If you do like these tips, make sure you smash the like button. And until next time.